N-400 Interview U.S. Citizenship Test 2022 New Version Number 1 Simulation Applicant Miss Amelia Johnson Number A-18 Miss Amelia Johnson Hi, I'm here. Hi, I'm Officer Mary. I'll be conducting your interview today. Is everything fine with you today? Yes, everything's good. Thank you. And you? I'm good, too. Please follow me. Sure. Please put all of your belongings besides your chair. I need to put you under oath. Please remain standing and raise your right hand. Okay. Stand and raise right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Now please put your hand down and have a seat. Okay, thank you. What did you promise? I promised to say the truth. Okay, do you feel ready for today's interview? Yes, I have studied for it. However, I'm still a bit worried about the history and government test. Don't worry, you will do well. Let's start. Do you have any questions before we start? No, thank you. Do you know why you are here today? I'm here for the naturalization interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I support the U.S. government and I want to vote. Can you explain to me how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I'm 28 years old and I have been a lawful permanent resident of the United States for five years. Great. Can you show me your green card, passport, and a state-issued ID? Okay, here they are. What is your full name? Johnson. Amelia Johnson. Please spell your last name. J-O-H-N-S-O-N Johnson. Do you have a middle name? No. Have you ever used another name? No. Would you like to legally change your name? Yes, I want to change my last name to my husband's last name, Garcia. You want the name on your naturalization certificate to be Amelia Garcia, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, let me update that. Thank you. When is your birthday? September 17th, 1993. When did you get your green card? On May 12th, 2016. How did you acquire your green card? Through my work. What is your country of citizenship? Turkey. Please verify your social security number. 999-10-7890 What is your phone number? 571-321-1234 What's your email address if we need to contact you? Amelia123 at gmail.com what is your current home address? 88235 Oak Street, MacArthur, California 22308 Can you please give me your current mailing address? It's the same as my living address. How many years have you lived at your current home address? About five years. Have you changed your address since you submitted your application form? No. Are your parents U.S. citizens? 
No. How much do you weigh? I weigh 120 pounds. What's your height? I am 5 feet 6 inches. Are you currently employed? Yes. My husband and I run a laundromat. What do you do for your laundromat? We don't hire anyone, so I do everything. I welcome customers, clean the store, and so on. What is your husband's full name? Oliver Garcia. What is his date of birth? June 22, 1990. Is your husband a citizen of the U.S.? Yes, he was naturalized in the U.S. in May 2020. What is your husband's country of origin? Turkey. Does your husband live with you? Yes. Have you taken any trips outside of the United States in the past five years? Yes. How many trips of 24 hours or more have you taken in the last five years? I had one trip. Tell me about this trip. When did you leave? When did you return? I left the U.S. on June 15, 2019. I returned on July 5, 2019. Where did you go and what was the purpose of your trip? Parents. I went to Turkey to visit my parents. Do you have any children? Not yet, but I'll have one soon. I'm pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, now we move to the next part of the interview. Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Can you explain to me what claim means? It is when someone says that they are a U.S. citizen, even if it isn't true. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. Have you ever had any hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Explain to me your understanding of hereditary title. Hereditary titles are the titles you receive when you are born. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Can you define mental institution for me? It's a hospital for people who have mental problems. Do you have any unpaid, overdue, federal, state, or local taxes? No. What does overdue mean? Overdue means late and not on time. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Do you understand what non-U.S. resident means? It's a person who does not live in the U.S. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, or any terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Do you belong to any organizations or clubs in the United States or any other place in the world? No. Have you ever committed a crime or offense for which you are not arrested? No. Have you ever been put in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. 
Have you ever received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I had a traffic fine. I paid $70 because I drove faster than the speed limit. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Could you tell me what smuggle means? To take things or people to or from a country illegally. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does it mean to obtain an immigration benefit? To gain things like a visa or green card. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Explain to me your understanding of public benefit. Money from the government to help you, such as food stamps. Do you support the constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you know what the form of government of the U.S. is? Republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. yes. What is the oath of allegiance to the United States? A promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Do you promise that everything you have said during this interview is true? Yes, I promise. Yes. Now we're going to do the civics test. Okay, I'm a little nervous now. Don't worry, I will ask you up to 10 questions, but if you get six correct, I'll stop you. Are you ready? Yes. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. Correct. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Free the slaves. Good. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What are two cabinet level positions? Vice President and... Sorry, I don't know. She could have said Secretary of Labor. It's okay, next question. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House. Correct. Name the U.S. War between the North and the South. The Civil War. Perfect. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. You got six correct, and you passed the civics test. Now let's do the English reading and writing test. Okay. First, read the sentence on the tablet in front of you, please. Where does the president live? Now, I am going to read you a sentence. Use the stylus pen or your finger to write the sentence down on the tablet for me. Okay. The president lives in the White House. 
The president lives in the White House. Great, you passed the English reading and writing test too. Oh, great, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, you passed the interview. Thank you. I'm very happy, thank you. Take a look at the application on the tablet and make sure everything is correct. Then sign and date at the bottom. Everything is correct, I signed and dated. I'm submitting your application for approval. If there are no other issues, you will get a notice in the mail regarding your oath ceremony date. Okay. Do you have any questions at this point? No, thank you. Congratulations again. I will walk you back to the waiting area. Thank you very much. Thank you and good luck. Please subscribe for more.